so welcome to those new um, the new uh, attendees today. So and for the others that were had, had did have their video on, please pop your video on if you'd like to to show your face. Love to see the faces that are on. Pop yourself off mute if you'd like to have a chat. Um, we are talking about getting new clients. So uh, well, I guess one of the ways that we could start talking about getting new clients and love to hear other people's views around it is around is around marketing. Um, and, you know, marketing doesn't always have to be paying money and, and spending the dollar to, you know, get Google AdWords or placing ads in the, you know, the paper or on Facebook posts or anything like that. There's a lot of different ways of marketing your business. Um, so, you know, one of the ways is inside of, um, you know, the social media platforms that are around. So there's a lot of free activity that you can do, um, like in LinkedIn, if you were to have a, a great profile that really explains, uh, really engages with um, those that are looking through LinkedIn. So expect, exactly um, explaining what you do do um, and the purpose of your business. So, there, you know, there's a lot of conversation around that. And then reaching out to other businesses in LinkedIn to connect with them and have conversations, especially if you know who your ideal client is. Um, the social media, there's, you know, a lot of Facebook posts that can be done and Facebook groups. Um, it, it's sort of a slow intake, I feel, with social media in Facebook posts or Facebook page that you do have to build a momentum and a, a lot of following to be able to get some clients. But there's certainly activity in Facebook groups. So if you were in business groups on Facebook and people start talking about either their bookkeeping or softwares or, or um, issues that they're having in business, then you can join in the conversation and then be seen as an expert in those Facebook groups. So I know, you know, several bookkeepers um, are on Facebook groups and they do talk uh, on those and get clients from them as well. Yeah, I'd be interested to actually hear, uh, and you can either you can unmute yourself and, and let us know, or you can pop it in the chat box as well. Uh, who has what marketing strategies have the people on the call today used this year that's been very effective? What's been your most effective marketing strategy? So feel free to unmute yourself and let us know, share what's worked for you this year. And if you uh, alternatively pop it in the chat box, I'd be interested to know what, what's working for you this year, what has worked. Hmm. Helen, you've, I've noticed you've come off mute. Would you like to give us some feedback? To be the first to talk. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Um, uh, I haven't uh, done any business marketing with Facebook, social media. I'm, I really lack there. I have hubbed spot and I can't work it out for the life of me. So that's, I guess, a 2021 goal. Um, I think my, I sort of still stick with the, what I know. And I guess 100% of my business has come from accountants. Um, oh, well, pretty much 90%. There's only one or two that would come through software advertisements you know as a um, advisor you can have a free ad and that kind of thing that's been drips and drabs over the years but the majority has always been accountants so um, I guess my I guess it is marketing that I really nurture those relationships I really mm. make sure I stay in touch I speak with uh, we have 20 odd accountants we work with and I speak with most of them weekly um, could be a quick chat, that kind of thing. Um, some not as much, um, but the majority will be um, will be yeah, mostly weekly. With some accounts, we can have like twelve to thirteen clients with them. So I just like yeah. to touch base. It could be an email. It could be you know a quick phone call, or, or they're calling me, um, you know, just to see where where oh. we're at. If there's anything I need from them or anything like that. So um, I guess I just. That's my main focus. That really does consume a lot of my time. Um, yeah. And Helen, just to give uh, put that in perspective, you've got a, a very established business and how many staff do you have? We're, we're three and I'm writing an ad for another one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's th uh, three plus yourself? Yeah, but we're just at capacity. It's too much. Yeah, um, yeah we're all at capacity and I just, yeah, we definitely... 
I think we've just persevered with that because I guess you want to build a business so you think I'll just do the work myself and um, I'm just overdoing everything. So, yeah. um, And I think when, when you're starting out um, and you don't have, uh, and thanks, Helen, for that, and it's a, that's what actually does happen. So when you build momentum around your marketing, you've got to start off somewhere. And where you start is telling everyone that you know that you're open for business and asking them to identify other business owners. How do you, you know, what's an ideal referral for you? Do you actually know what would be a good client for you? Have you actually thought about um, what, what sort of client you want to work with? That, that could be linked to your software preference, your skill set, but even an industry that you might be interested in. So the more specific you can be, when you're telling people that you know, the more specific you can be. So if, for example, you decided you were going to specialise in tradies or niching tradies, you'd say to your friends and family, listen, I've started my, as you know, I've started my own bookkeeping business, but what I've decided to do is focus on tradies to start off with. So if you have a tradie, a plumber come into your house or an electrician come into your house or you you come across another tradie in some way or another, can you just, uh, all you need to do is ask them when they, when you're paying their bill, because they, they'll do an FPOS or something like that, you say, oh, just wondering who's looking after your bookkeeping for you. Are you managing with the bass? Uh, is, is everything okay? You've got that under control. And then wait and see what they say. They'll either say, yes, it's, I've got this fabulous bookkeeper and it's working really well. And they say, great. That's awesome. I'm, I know a bookkeeper. My friend is a bookkeeper. My sister's a bookkeeper. Um, so I just thought I'd ask on her behalf. But I bet you many of them would actually say, don't even talk to me about my bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an absolute disaster. My wife is doing it. She wear it loggerheads every, every night. She's asking me questions. Where's this paperwork? And all this sort of thing. I don't want to talk to her about the business or bookkeeping. I just want to come home and be with the family and watch a TV show or something like that. So you'd be surprised the number of people, business owners who look like they've got everything under control, but you just do a little scratch on the surface there and you discover that there's that they're actually not that much in control. So you start off by ask, educating your friends and family about what would be a good referral for me, how they look out for it, and how they actually can broach the subject to this person that they're meeting. And that's, that's, as, that's as hard as it gets. How, who's looking after your bookkeeping for you? Yeah, and, and that's a really good point. But I, 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 we, we, you could also do this for established businesses as well, established mm -hmm. bookkeeping businesses. Absolutely. It's something that we forget. It's a very basic question to ask to whomever that we get in front of in you know, whatever small business that we are in front of, that we can ask that simple question. Um, and I think as, as we go from startup to more established business and we forget of the really simple ways of getting clients, that we think we've got to think bigger and, and you know, spend more money and be more elaborate when, you know, just go back to the basics of just using your voice, asking the question. And it also leads into um, asking your current clients as well. So if you, you know, do have some clients and as, um, as we just spoke a little while ago uh, that Keystone does have clients and she's just starting out, then ask those clients as, as well. Um, for referrals um, just mention you know what are we doing that well you know what what would you you rate us out of 10 um, you know what are we doing you know well for your business uh, do you have um, other small businesses colleagues friends family that would appreciate the same type of service that we provide you and letting them know that you have the capacity to do the work so often um, clients will go, I don't want to share you because my service will go down. So letting them know that you have the capacity, you might have put staff member on um, and just asking for, for those referrals. And if they don't have anybody um, that they can think of, then, you know, you may get a reference from them, a testimonial. So that will help in your marketing on your websites or your Facebook pages um, to have to, to gather though that information those testimonials so when you are ready to um you know perhaps increase your marketing uh, activities you've got um some testimonials there and, and things to share 
um, you know, out to the out to the community, or you know, do a blog around it or a case study around it. So, you know, I I think you know one of the things that we want to um, encourage today is around the marketing system. So, um, you you create these activities for your marketing, create your system for your marketing, whatever it is that we talk about today in getting new clients, it doesn't mean that you have to go off and do them all right now. And you, do, you might not want to go and do any of them right now because you have enough clients at the moment. But if you feel as if you have that capacity um, and are ready for new clients or you are starting out, then you ramp up your marketing activities. Mm. So, and Oh, so go, go on. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, around the LinkedIn and the social media and, you know, we'll get further into the networking as well. 